Hey folks, so this is not a video of much consequence for those of you who already have this version of the Samsung uh, T5 SSD. So I got this for the car uh, because it was saying it was running out of memory. But I did notice some interesting things. So this is 2021 and this thing has been out in the market for some time now, 2017, maybe 2019. And... I just found it interesting that in terms of packaging uh, compared to the other SSDs in the Samsung lineup that I, this one was actually, I think this is actually meant to be sitting up on a display uh, because you will notice that it's got like two pairs of ridges here where you can actually do a, be standing up like that. Um, it's also, um, depending on how it's going to be displayed, it's also got a, instead of just a regular like tape looking thing it's actually got a clip which makes this sound when you pop it up and uh, might as well uh, let's keep on going and open up this thing I've already um, sp slit the uh, thing open and here we go let me nothing else in the box let me drop that that's not important this should come it's got a plastic shielding cover. I think that's beautiful, but also a beautiful waste of uh, stuff. It, it will protect the SSD uh, compared to just like um, bubble wrap or some kind of thing. This actually makes it a little tougher to open. Uh, but once you're done with that, what do you do with this thing? I don't know. It's only meant to house this SSD here. Right. So let's take the and there's nothing, oops, aha. So lifting that actually lifts the whole thing out. It's got, it's, it separates it out from what else is at the bottom. So that's nice. So you've got the manual and things to know about the stuff. It comes with nothing else but two cables, a USB-B to USB-C. Um, yes, both female I think female and male for the other one and a USB-C to USB-C on both ends so that's good for the Tesla I think we will need uh, which doesn't have a USB-C natively we will be using the USB-C uh, B to USB-C to connect the drive itself which we will flip out right there it is very small and I have nothing to compare it to, but let's say, um, I know, I'm going to take another review of this, uh, what is this, a um, clip for the camera, but uh, I would say it sort of looks like it's smaller definitely the, than a, um, a large box of giant uh, camping matches, or I would say two of those free matches you would see at the way that they used to give out at hotels when you're out in Vegas or things like that. So yeah, there's nothing else but the barcode at the end and the USB port, which as I mentioned, we will connect the USB-C thing to. And if there's a question of, is it snug? Let me put it in there. Yes, there's a nice, clip and it is snug right so this is one terabyte that's the version I had I I got and that means that the for best performance this shouldn't be uh, anything less than NTFS or um, uh, what is that um, NTFS or XFAT and definitely not FAT32 FAT32 is still technically compatible but that also limits you to the file size in terms of if you're recording uh, large copies amounts well not copies amount large long videos via the sentry mode or the dash cam app right so um the other update from 2019 versus uh, right 2020 and 2021 is that you will know you are no longer required to actually like pre-format this drive and add a subfolder yourselves uh, if with the latest firmware 
uh, from Tesla. You just plug this in, it'll get recognized. Most USB drives and thumb drives, it'll get recognized and you just have to click format and the application, the built-in application should format the drive for you and create the subfolder that needs for the dash cam function. Uh, which is used by sentry mode. So those are two different things. Don't confuse the dash cam function and the sentry mode. The sentry mode is what it does. The dash cam function is what is actually letting you do the monitoring and things like that. So anyway, they work tandem, hand in hand with this drive. That's what you need to know, right? So that's, that's it. We're gonna plug it in. And uh, if anything else, that should be about what this review is all about. All right, thanks for stopping by.